This is a video by Rich Pin. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. And what we're doing today is we are doing a routine check of the evaporative emission purge control solenoid and the lines running to the solenoid. Now we're going to concentrate today on checking this plastic line that runs down to the purge solenoid and the purge solenoid itself, make, making sure that it's holding vacuum correctly and, and uh, opening and closing. Now, if that line and the solenoid is defective, it can lead to poor idling, it can lead to stalling, and just general poor drivability. So it's something important we need to check. To test our system, the tool we're going to be using today is a handheld vacuum pump. Next thing we need to do is to remove this piece right here from the throttle body that goes down to the purge solenoid. Now be very careful because it's made out of plastic. Now after we get that off there, we're going to plug the end of our vacuum pump into the line. Now we'll pump the handheld pump up and hopefully it holds vacuum. Uh oh. We got a problem. It is not holding vacuum. Either that plastic line down to the purge solenoid has got a crack in it or it's off the solenoid or the diaphragm inside is bad. So we're going to get down to the solenoid now and do some more testing. Here is the purge solenoid behind the engine. Now we're going to remove that plastic line that goes up to the throttle body. Plug in our hose from our vacuum pump. Now put some vacuum to it. Son of a gun. It's holding vacuum. So therefore, the problems has to be in that plastic line up to the throttle body. So let's go check that now. Next thing we need to do is open up the clamp that holds the plastic line to the intake manifold. And again, we have to be careful because it is plastic. There it is. We got it open. Next thing we need to do is to unclip that plastic line very gently. And we've got to snake it up out of there. And there it is. So now let's go check that line out. Now what I've done here is taken the shop line, knocked the air down to just a couple of pounds pressure and we got our clear line from the vacuum pump on the blow gun and the other end of our plastic line here we've got it capped off and so what we're going to do is we're going to pressurize that line put it in the water just as we would do a bicycle tube and we should be able to find the leak All right here let's pressurize it nothing 
nothing. Nothing so far. Nothing so Whoa! There it is. I found you. Look at that. It's leaking right where the uh, plastic line goes into uh, that piece that clips onto the throttle body. Okay. Now what we did to the end of that was we put some JB Weld on there to seal the joint. So uh, let's see how we do. Pressurize it. Beautiful. Look at that. No more leaks. Great. Let's put it on. We got our line connected to the purge solenoid. We got our throttle body capped off here. We got a line right here to our vacuum pump. Now we're going to put some vacuum to it. Make sure she's holding. Yeah. She is. So now we're going to start it up and see if the purge solenoid purges that line. And if it does, the vacuum will drop right down to zero. We're going to bring up the RPMs now. And there it is. She purged, so the solenoid's working properly. As you can see, the vacuum gauge went to zero as the purge solenoid opened up. And, of course, if it didn't do that, well, then you would have to um, check the uh, electrical connector at the solenoid and see if it's getting uh, current. And then if it was getting current, well, then most likely it would be the uh, solenoid that was faulty. So that's all there is to uh, checking the EVAP purge solenoid on the Saturn S series. The tools that we're going to be using today are... Uh, <laughs> come on, Rich. First thing we need to do is to remove this piece right here that is uh, but, but, oh, water and hopefully we will find the leak. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, whoa. Now we have the plastic line all connected to the purge solenoid and we have our vacuum pump connected to the line and what we're going to do put some vacuum to it and now we're going to start it up and we're going to check the purge solenoid and see if it purges that line and if it does the vacuum line the va vacuum line <laughs> 